The Texas Tech football team came out hot and ready tonight as they defeated the Kansas Jayhawks 43 to 28, making this their best home record since 2009. I am here at Lowry Field where the Coronado Mustangs are gearing up to host the Amarillo Sandies for a highly anticipated district matchup. Now the Mustangs are looking for their first district win, but they are also looking for their first win in about seven weeks. Their last win was on this very field against the Friendship Tigers. So you can say it has been a tough handful of weeks for the Mustangs. The Texas Tech softball team kicks off their fall schedule here in the next week under new head coach Craig Snyder. Earlier today, Coach Snyder talked about the brand he is building here in Lubbock, and that starts this October. More high school girls hoop action as the Monterey Lady Plainsmen left earlier this morning for Wichita Falls for the girls 5A regional tournament. The Lady Plainsmen will face Mansfield Timberview at 4 p.m. tomorrow night. Make sure you tune in to your KBK Sports Connection tonight as we got the chance to catch up with head coach Jill Snyder about tomorrow's game. Continuing their winning streak, the Dallas Cowboys had a nail-biter game as they took home the 27-23 win over the Houston Texans earlier today. The Cowboys struggled to get past the Texan defense, giving the Texans a chance to build their lead going into the half. In the second half, the Cowboys are finally able to break some of their sloppiness. Dak Prescott threw two interceptions and was sacked once, but he ended up being the reason the Cowboys won the game. He led them on an 11-play, 98-yard touchdown, drive with less than a minute left to play. The Cowboys move on to 10 and three as they head on the road to face the Jaguars next Sunday. The Texas Tech volleyball team just fell to the number one Texas Longhorns three sets to nothing for their third conference game. The team started off slow but finally found their rhythm. The third was a battle back and forth as the Red Raiders were fighting for another set. A new attendance record was set and Kenneth Sawyer got her ninth double-double. Unfortunately, the Red Raiders lost, but Coach Greystone talked about the resilience his team has. We've been in this spot before. We were down 0-2 in, in two of our last uh, three wins and fought back and came back and had a reverse sweep. So we, we understand it's not over till it's over, and we, we have some confidence in ourselves. And it's really just finding one thing to flip, and you turn a close set into a win, and, and then you start rolling from there. And so, uh, you know, this team was never going to quit. We were, we were always going to be there for the fight. And, and like I said, I was just happy to see us take care of our side much, much better as it went on. The team will now head on the road to face TCU on October 8th. From the United Supermarkets Arena, I'm Kaylee Pena. The Lubbock High Westerners are also back at Lowry Field tomorrow as they are looking for a bounce back win after dropping a tough one to Palo Duro last week. Even though it wasn't the outcome the Westerners wanted, there was a lot to be proud of off as the Westerners have been hit with the injury bug leading to many of their underclassmen having to step up. Head coach Juan Rodriguez says that their fight from their underclassmen has been huge and it's exciting to see a little glimpse of what their program will look like in a couple of years. It's extremely exciting uh, for me, you know, not just from our, you know, the guys that are playing on the field now, but, you know, you watch our JV kids, you know, handing tough, and then you watch our younger kids, you know, our freshman kids are 5-1, and, one, and, you know, our Hutch and Cavazos middle school kids are doing a great job, so um, I think the future is, is really bright for us. You know, we had a kid come back yesterday, and, and if that stands correct, we had 100% of all our feeders show up to, to Lubbock High, so that's definitely uh, a big win for us. Um, so it's, it's something that we're really excited about. Now, lots of great games going to be happening on here in the 806 over the next 24 hours. We are now under 30 minutes away from kickoff here at Lowry Field. Once again, the Coronado Mustangs will be hosting the Amarillo Sandys at 7.05 at Lowry Field. Reporting live from Lowry Field, I'm Kaylee Pena. He also
carried by number three, Kate Gale, for a Lobo touchdown. Fantastic. 